came at a good time for him. I didn't think we were here in the last of the Scarbonis tonight. Because that explains why they stuck around, even though they didn't really seem to be in Moore's corner. The more you know quite a bit about their opponents here tonight, Joe Coleman and Idris Abraham. Well, Coleman and uh, Abraham, they've been in the k and Wrestling School quite a bit, working on their tag team stuff. Certainly a confident uh, duo. And I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm shocked that they've struck up this friendship because they're a little bit mismatched to me, but it's been working so far. Yeah. And they're out there with the veteran, Jigolo I'll tell you what, not many people in this business put together better than Joe Coleman. What an amazing physical specimen he is, and he's taking Abraham under his wing here. You can already see the, the size and the muscle tone that Abraham's been able to add in the time that he's been with Joe Coleman, and, uh, you know, pretty impressive so far. Dangerously good-looking fellas. Dangerously good-looking. They've been in the gym quite a bit together. Yeah. Like you said, the more they've struck up a friendship, you know, not just in wrestling, but in the workout arena as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm shocked that two men that beautiful can get along. I mean it. I, I can't imagine they don't just vie for attention all day long. You know, you seem to kind of be into him. You want me to give an introduction? A little bit. I could do worse. I could admit to that. Yeah, Joe Coleman is quite a specimen. I've had my eye on him since he got here. You know, he's put together. He's actually been through quite a bit here in XICW. Yeah. A former Midwest Heavyweight Champion. And um, now he's in the tag team situation with Idris Albert Abraham. Doing a great do job uh, teaching to him, giving him some of experience. Idris? Yeah, I, th I think he's done a real good job kind, kind of mentoring Idris. I think the Scarbonis could teach him a lesson in mean. Sometime. A lifetime, yeah. A couple of gentlemen that are put together pretty well. They're having their little pose off here in advance of some grappling skills. Yeah. Wow. And, and look at the shape Sonny Scarboni is in. Oh, oh. Could use some mental acuity in addition to that muscle definition, though. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I would have thought that the Scarbonis with the experience edge would uh, be outsmarting Coleman yeah. and Idris, but oh, Coleman showing that he can outsmart just about anybody there. Yeah, the Scarbonis making a couple of tactical mistakes right there. But don't sell the Scarbonis short. I would never. They might be starting a little slow here, but they're going to pick it up yeah. in a second. Well, and you've got to you've got to start to wonder what the, uh, the little backfiring of their plan, I think, for Chris Moore earlier has done to their mental preparation for this matchup. You know, they've got to be a little flustered at this that point. That couldn't have gone the way they wanted it to, no. But I do think the Scarbonis are pretty good at concentrating on the Scarbonis. I don't think they worry too much about other folk. Well, the Scarboni is certainly the more decorated out of the two tag teams here, that experience edge, and I'm sure as we as we settle into this, I'm sure they're going to do quite well and give quite the test to Abraham and uh, yeah. Coleman. They don't seem to be sure on that right now. It looks like Joe Coleman and Idris Abraham are the veterans out of the out of this tag team they situation. They are working together so well. Yeah, but you know what often happens here, youth youth and, uh, and enthusiasm can carry you so far, and then as you get later into the matchup, that's when experience and uh, seasoning takes mm -hmm. over. Yeah, I think they're just filling them out, as we see right now with Vinny Stark. Uh -huh. Whoa, but he got turned around on by experience Joe Coleman. Experience might, might come in second to ingenuity, though. That was pretty clever out of Coleman. Oh 
one thing I have to state the obvious. Joe Coleman's looking a little Wolverine-ish. He does. He has a little Weapon X going on right now. Uh, Idris Abraham here and Scarboni looking at a handshake. I don't know if that's wise for uh, Idris. I, I think he was looking to pull a ruse on the Scarbonis. They might not have looked too sharp early, but they're figuring things out. Oh, he's building up a lot of speed. Almost too much to handle. Wow. Things are kind of breaking down. A lot of here. action. It's got to be hard to contain four guys like this. Yeah, the Scarbonis here really struggling, guys, more than I ever thought they would have. This yeah. Oh, and we there have we a, go. a double oh, a little. Ups here. That's definitely showing the Joe Coleman has on Idris Abraham. Yeah. Well, I think he's also showing the work ethic he brings out in his team and his friends. Oh. Oh. There you go. That's that's what we're talking yeah, about. The veteran out. team went out taking gracious. advantage of the situation. And look at him now. Oh, just wearing him out using that cage on the side. Oh, the Scarbonis never miss an opportunity to hurt you. Never miss a chance. You know, you talk about experience. That's the kind of things you see. The Scarbonis are taking advantage and using that cage, even though it's not a part of this matchup, knowing that the referee's back is turned and using everything they can to their advantage. It's and almost scoring a three. Yeah, it's an innate thing. They're, they're brutal by nature. I mean, they've been around so long now. They, this is their home. They take advantage. They know where they are. They know the building. The Scarbonis, there's no denying that, they're, that, that they have an up advantage yeah. here at this I think place. They also just they know each other. I would hate to know how many hours a day they spend just fighting when no one's looking. Just all the time, I feel like, like, like they're, they're wailing on somebody. You know what, Dangler? I'm starting to wonder if you are looking. I am. I am. How, how can I not? It's Idris. He does it for me. It's the hair. Dangler. Dangler. That might be inaccurate if Coleman keeps flexing. Would not be an active descriptor. Well, getting back to some wrestling here, guys, not to distract <laughs> your little bromance, but uh, great job here. Count it two and almost getting the three. You know, the Scarbonis, as you see, they've cut that ring in half. They've, dri they've drawn that imaginary line, and they've really is isolated Idris Abraham in their side of the yeah. ring. That's right. Tag team wrestling is an art. Um, a lot of guys don't know that about cutting off the ring like the Scarbonis do. Yeah, it's a lost art sometimes in this industry these days, but Scarboni certainly masters of it. And I gotta say, man, it is a pleasure, Demore, having you here at ringside with us doing commentary. I gotta say, that's the nicest thing you may have ever said to me, AT. Oh. Yeah, don't get used to it. <laughs> My mom says hi. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll talk to her later. <laughs> Well, you talk about the latitude with the XI rule book there, and Scarboni knows it well and taking advantage of it. Abraham's going to have that air. He's going to pull it. Yeah. I do I do feel like that's more on Abraham than Scarboni's. I think you come in giving people a handle. It's not their fault if they grab it. Well, well just because you have long hair doesn't mean that, it, that somebody should pull it. I don't know, man. I think you take that risk. I think it's on you. You gotta, you gotta so pay to look you that can, awesome. I guess because you have on tights, he can pull the tights. That tights you are have, different. You gotta have the tights on. You have watched wrestling, Huck, right? Yeah. Somebody is going to pull the tights tonight. You do yeah. realize oh, that. Oh, I'm quite sure. You know what? You were razzing me, but you seem to be the one promoting wrestling with no tights on. And Joe Coleman, a house of fire in there. I mean, turning things around on the Scarbonis here for a second at least. Oh. The referee's not putting in the count to get the legal man out, the, out of the ring. Coleman's not needing him to, handling both of them. Oh, here we go. Showing off that strength. Oh, and Joe Coleman is a powerhouse, he deceptively is. strong. Oh, that's a Idris big Abraham there, there doing a blind tag on Coleman while Coleman had the torture rack going. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't make quite much sense, did it? No, I, that doesn't make any sense at all. I wonder if that's that combating egos, like I was talking about. Maybe he's not okay with having two good-looking dudes on a team. Mormons, oh! 
And there we go. Oh, and that. There we go. Done. It looks like the experience of the Scarbonis paid off. Yeah. Well, that's the great Ed Whalen would say, malfunction at the junction between Coleman and Idris Abraham, and that leads to a Scarboni's victory. And it looks like Joe Coleman and Mark Joker having a few words here. Not too happy about the way the situation went down. Oh. Well, seems that, that Mark's blaming Coleman for the loss, which, which yeah, I'm okay with, but seems a little off. I'm kind of surprised here that, that Joe and Mark are having odds. And we just saw a slap by Mark Joker to Joe Coleman. Idris Abraham trying to be the voice of reason here and pulling Coleman back. Wow. And Joe Coleman and Mark Joker have been, you know, together for quite some time now. Uh, well over a year that um, Joker's been Coleman's manager. Oh, man. Oh boy. Well, I think that has come to an abrupt yeah, end here, like AT. That. He has put in his two weeks officially. I find it hard to believe oh. Gigolo Mark Joka has sided with Idris Abraham, Abraham over Joe Coleman. Well, you, you got to think on some level here, Huck. Uh, maybe Coleman's going a little bit down. Maybe Idris is coming a little bit up. And you want to you latch yourself up to the train that's heading in the upwards trajectory. Yeah, you know, but come on now. I just like that you agreed with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I tip my hat, to, my hat to Idris. I mean, he's out there. He's starting to make a name for himself, and he's taking an opportunity. You know, Coleman does talk a lot. Coleman likes to pose, and Idris is a serious character. Can-am trained, can-am bred, and he's going to go out there and take what's his. And, you know, I, for one, support it, and I think you guys should tip your hats to him. Good for him. Go out there and make a name. I'm, I'm more surprised at Gigolo Mark Joka, more so than Idris Abraham. Idris Abraham saw the opportunity to go with Mark Joka, but I just don't get Mark Joka's rationale for dumping Joe Coleman. I just the genetic jackpot. I just gave it to you. Idris Abraham is on an upward uh, movement. The yeah, trajectory is all heading right Joe horse. Coleman is it? Former Midwest heavyweight champion? Former. <laughs> Idris oh, Abraham, a future champion. That doesn't mean that he won't be champion again. 